Today, I'm opening up the rarest blister pack in the world, which values over $3,000 per pack, which is why I'm opening up three of them today. What is up, Horror Squad, and welcome to another massive, massive vintage pack opening with the following blister booster packs. We have the set Sky Ridge, but what makes this set so valuable? What makes Sky Ridge one of, if not, the most valuable and rarest Pokemon card set in history? Well, it has to do with the fact that Sky Ridge was the final set printed by Wizards of the Coast in the year 2003. There were actual two other sets in what were known as the E-Series sets, which first came out with the Expedition Base set, Aquapolis set, and finally, you have, in 2003, Sky Ridge, which was was, as per confirmed by Pokemon itself, one of the most least printed sets there was. And with it being the final set that Wizards of the Coast produced, the illustrators had a lot of free run to illustrate whatever they wanted on the cards. That's why you see some of the absolute best Pokemon artwork in history in this set. But what makes these blister packs extra special is the fact that there were just not many of them printed in an already very, very not printed set. So if you can, please consider subscribing to this channel and also leave a like. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. I appreciate the support as always. And last but not least, comment in the comment section below your favorite set from the three E-Series sets, Aquapolis Expedition, or of course, Sky Ridge. So we have the following blister packs. First off, the Kabutops artwork, Vaporeon artwork, Holly artwork, and last but not least, we got the bird is the word. Now, I will be opening up all three except this one because this is the only Ho-Oh artwork blister booster pack that I have in my collection. It even has, well, they all I think have the original price tag, $3.27. These actually go for well over $3,000, and none of the following packs were sold before this video. That's what makes this extra special and exciting and fun, is the fact that I am risking over $10,000 opening up these packs today. So that's why it means a lot for y'all to leave likes and positive comments, no matter what we pull today, because I enjoy doing this. I actually already opened up Expedition and Sky Ridge all in one video just two weeks ago. We pulled the absolute best cards from those sets, respectively, the Charizards, of course, in the same opening. If you would like to go check out that video, it should be popping up on screen right now but it'll also be on the front page of my channel. What blister booster pack shall we start with today? Let us go with, probably out of these, my favorite would be the Kabutops one. And as you've seen before, here is some of the information. I will not read it, uh, but this is premium card odds, odds, approximately one out of 27 cards. On screen right now, you'll be seeing some of the best ones. Of course, we got the crystal cards with that crystal Charizard. There's still a chance to pull a reverse crystal Charizard is what we're really going for, along with any of the other crystal Pokemon cards that are in the set. But don't let that fool you because there are tons and tons of amazing holographic cards in what is my favorite set of all time. These are very, very heavy duty. So uh, let's see if I could try my best to get into these without hurting the pack. Because these are difficult, these are these are fairly difficult to open compared to the other Wizards of the Coast sets. And these are much more protective because you can reseal the other Wizards of the Coast sets. Hold on. <laughs> That is some good 19-year-old mm, air right there. So there we go. It's been sitting in this. It is now opened. There's the pack in its shiny subway colors. Shall we get into this, my friends? Wish us luck. Uh, by the way, at this time, there was also licensing issues and monetary concerns. 
so that went down from 11 cards to just nine additional game cards. But don't let that fool you. Even the commons and uncommons in this set are fairly valuable and present such incredible artwork. So I will set this aside. Should be just two cards. And without further ado, let us see what we can do. Starting off with a Hyper Potion. Machoke! It's like Goku and Frieza punching the ground in the Kamehameha waves and stuff. Or it's the Namek planet that took five minutes, quote unquote, to explode. Diglett looking at the Loch Neck monster or whatever in Scotland or wherever it is. Don't quote me on that! Here's a Nidoran female, but what I love is it has statues of the legendary birds in the background, which are also part of the set. Hollow-wise and crystal-wise for bird is the word, but Zapdos has a hollow. There's the Nasteca lines. Yanma, but there's bird is the word in the background. Next up is Murkrow. Now, I think what's crazy about the set is the rares and everything come in the different spots and especially if you get a crystal. Anyway, Fortress Holographic card has been pulled. How about that? But wait, there is more. A Polyatoad. Is that a reverse rare? That is a Polyatoad. Reverse rare and a Jolteon non-holographic rare. So that is three rares in a row. Uh, starting off as I try to get a sleeve as fast as I can. With this Fortress holographic card, I see a little print line on the right side. It doesn't come through though, which is really interesting. Centering wise and whitening wise. Centering wise, it's fairly good. A little whitening bottom left. Otherwise, it is beautiful. That's just the first one. Polyatoad Reverse Holographic. What do we got here? Won't go spending too much time, but this one's in perfect centering. And I don't see any whitening on that one. And then, of course, we got a Jolteon. You can't be upset when you get three beautiful cards in a row. So there's the Jolteon. And, of course, it has great centering as well, too. Well, that was just the first pack, ladies and gentlemen. We have two more of these to go. Let's go with Vaporeon. I'll put Polly in the back. Oh yeah, I was trying to peel it that way, but oh, look at that. That's interesting. Well, not interesting, that's just how it is. Let's see if I can get into that. Oh wait, that is some good 19-ish year old air or however long it's been. This is fantastic. All right. Ooh, look at the bottom of this one. I always find that so interesting. How sometimes just from straight from the printing press, they just get, you know, bent like that. But thankfully, you know, I'm sure the cards are fine on the inside. Hopefully they are. All right. If you can, please, once again, as we get into this next pack, please remember to leave a like. Let's get to 10,000 likes. All of these packs were not sold beforehand. They're from my personal collection that I am risking over $10,000 today in hopes of just providing some good old entertainment for y'all. Because odds are, I know I'm not going to make the money back. However, it's a lot of fun opening these up for y'all. And we get to look at Pokemon history. That is a very beautiful Electrode card. Kazuki is the illustrator for that one. A Miracle Sphere. This reminds me of a Yu-Gi-Oh card with how much stuff is on this card. Next up is... Hey, it's Fortress. Times two this time. It takes two to tango. Next up is... A Cleffa. That is a very, very creepy card. I don't know exactly what's going on other than... The, I guess those are the, the Stone Edge. Next up is a beautiful Radicate. What I love about these cards is they truly do tell some type of story. It's up to you to imagine the rest. Next up is a Poliwhirl diving into the water in the cave. Are we already at the reverse, which could be a crystal card? Let's see it. An Umbreon Holographic! One of the best hollows, if not the best holographic in the set, other than pulling 
A crystal Pokemon card. We're not done. We have a Arcanine Reverse Rare again. But wait, there's more. And a Raichu Rare. How is this happening? So, I didn't look up values of the hollows because they're always changing, but I'm pretty sure it being an evolution, and from what I've remembered in the past, I don't, do I see any print lines? I don't see any print lines! This is the top card, hollow wise from Skyridge, I believe. A little whitening at the top left. Otherwise, centering and everything else is great. Wow, what a pull. We're not done. We also have this. This is the Arcanine Reverse Rare. It's always a pleasure pulling Reverse Rares from Skyridge as well too. Little whitening at the top left. Centering is perfect for Arcanine. And then, don't forget the Raichu. I've actually pulled the Raichu Reverse Hollow several times. So, really cool for collection purposes to Finally pulled the Raichu non-holographic. It's off-center from left to right, though. That's okay. Probably won't get that graded anyway. Well, we have reached the final Sky Ridge pack. Let's see if we can get... Well, at this point, absolute, will this be an absolute perfect opening if we can get all three rares again, uh, including a hollow? Imagine if we can get a crystal card my friends. Now that would be insane. And that could happen. Especially going for that reverse uh, holographic Charizard card. Ah, gotta love the 20 year old air, basically. Let's just round up, okay? But there we have it. Polyrath Sky Ridge Pack. This will be the final one I open up today for a total of three. Once again, let's get into it. Definitely my favorite set of all time. It's just so many beautiful cards as I am so grateful to be opening up these packs for y'all today. Starting off with a Nolan Ryan's Fastball. Very cool. I don't see the Fastball too often printed for the Pokemon TCG. Then we have Bounce Energies. Very cool, which in fact, did Brilliant Stars do a reprint of this card, if I remember correctly? It's so cool to be opening up the old ones and then, you know, have the new ones to see what's been reprinted and not. A beautiful Magikarp. That is an army, my friends, going upstream. There's also an Expedition card as well. Then we have a Nidoran female looking into the water. Are we already at the reverse? Well... Let's see it, or I guess it's not the reverse. Technically, it's a hollow, but it switches around if there's not. Oh, we're not. Those are some of them crazy eyes with that polywag right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a funny looking card, but I'll take it, it's cute. All right, let's see it. No, there's one more, Voltorb. Well, I ain't good at math, or remembering for that purpose. So let's see what comes next. A Moltres Holographic for three hollows in a row. Oh my goodness. Look at this beauty. Look at this absolute beautiful card. You ready? Oh my gosh, I'm done. I'm done after this opening. That's a reverse rare creepy Alakazam. And my friends, it's a rare non-holographic Aerodactyl. We have just done the perfect Pokemon opening. Rares in every single slot of the... Man, I almost want to open up that other Sky Ridge blister pack now. But I won't. I won't. This has been such, such a treat. Let's take a look at this Alakazam a bit closer. That is a really, really creepy card, but I will take it. 
They're all in fantastic condition. And then we have an Aerodactyl non-holographic. Let's wait to get that in focus for y'all so we can see the front and the back. My friends, if you want more Skyridge like that Crystal Charizard pull, it's right over there. Clicking it right now. Otherwise, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see y'all in the next video.